Number 44. A camera with a 50 millimeter focal length lens is being used to photograph a person standing three meters away. Letter A. How far from the lens must the film be? All right. So what you want to do is draw a little picture. All right. So let's say here you have your lens. Okay. And uh, an inherent property of that lens is the focal length of it. And it told us it's 50 millimeters, but why don't we just convert that to meters? Let's get it out of the way. So 0.05 meters. There's also a person then that is standing three meters away. Let's assume that we always usually put the object, which is the person, uh, usually to the left of the lens, okay? So let's just put the person here. You can draw like a little up arrow if you want or something like that. It doesn't really matter, or a line. You could draw a person if you want, but it's not necessary. Um, and then uh, what we're gonna do is uh, we're going to uh, end, oh, they also told us right, it's three meters away. So let's draw that in, so that's three meters. And then they wanted us to find now the um, uh, how far from the lens must the film be, right? So it's going to be on now the opposite side, and it should be inverted uh, if this is going to work properly. We'll see if the numbers are going to work properly. <clears throat> All right, and let's so we'll draw a line probably downward like that, and we're trying to find this x. All right, so what we need is we need an equation. All right, that's going to relate now. Um, these variables together, focal length, the distance the object is from the lens, and the distance the image is from the lens. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the lens equation. All right. So the lens equation is simply 1 over DO, meaning 1 over the object distance from the lens, plus 1 over the image distance from the lens should equal 1 over the focal length of the lens. All right. So, and by the way, this is thin lens, right? This is a thin lens. Um, so what we need to do is solve this for di, right? So just simply subtract this on over to that side, put a little minus there, and then just do a cross multiplication. Bring the di out, bring this whole thing on down to the bottom, and there is your now equation, okay? And we just clean it up ever so slightly. I'm going to make this a little bigger on the top. And that's it. All we now have to do is plug in the numbers, okay? So this is going to be 1 over then 1 divided by that focal length of 0 0.05 minus then 1 over the 3 meters. Okay, make sure you have everything in the right units there in terms of, um, what do you call it, in terms of like meters. You could also keep it, you don't have to keep it in meters, you keep it in centimeters or something like that. But they all got to be the same, all right? But just, just be careful. All right, so let's calculate this. So work with the denominator first. So it's 1 divided by 0 0.05 minus then 1 divided by 3. So you get about 19.7, and then do 1 divided by that number, 19.7. So you come up with your answer of about, so the image uh, distance is going to be about 0 0.0508 or so meters. In other words, about 5 centimeters, all right, um, from the... Uh, center of the lens, okay? So it says now, if the film is uh, 36 inch, 36 millimeters high, what fraction of a 1.75 meter tall person will fit on it, all right? Um, so what we can now do is kind of, I would, next what I would do here is I would calculate then the magnification, all right? So this was all for letter A. Let's do letter B now. So I'm gonna move this stuff around a little bit. Let's put this underneath. And there you go. So letter B. Um, all right. So we have our magnification formula over here. So we know the image distance. We know the object distance. Right? So we can calculate then the magnification. The negative sign implies the uh, direction. Okay? So negative di, the image distance we calculated was a positive value of 0 0.0508. What that basically means, a positive value means that it will be on the other side uh, of the lens uh, from where the uh, object is. Anytime the object here is going to be greater than the focal length, that will always be the case. All right, so keep that in mind. Divided then by, and it works out mathematically in the formula. Divided by then the object distance of three meters, all right, and that's gonna be equal to then the magnification. So let's calculate that. So it's negative point, well, negative just second answer basically, right? We'll take that answer. So negative answer divided then by three. So we get about now negative 0 0.0169, 0 0.169, okay? All right, so what this represents is this represents that the 
uh, image is basically like one point, you know, seven hundredths smaller um, or one point seven hundredths of the original object. So what we can do now is we can take the uh, we can take the height of the person. OK, we can take the one point seven five meters. And then what we can do is we can multiply it now by this magnification. And what we will find is when we do that, plug it on into the calculator. And we're going to get about 0 0.03 meters. And it'll be negative. So what this is telling us is that the uh, image height is going to be inverted because it's negative. That's why it's pointing down here. And the image is going to be about 0 0.03 meters or aka, right? Isn't this about 30 millimeters, right? Negative. So what that's telling us is that the uh, image is going to be 30 millimeters in height here, just inverted. This is 30 millimeters. But they told you the film is 36 millimeters high. So since the image is less than the height of the film, well, yes, the whole object will fit on it. All right. That's kind of the decision rule you have to invoke in order to answer the question. All right. So as long as this image is smaller than the film, the 100% of then the person will fit on it. If the person here, when we multiplied by the magnification, was larger uh, than the film, right, the image of that person, well, then we could figure out what fraction, right, was on the film. So, um, yeah, so that's how to do that. The other way to do it is instead of calculating the magnification and then going about and then multiplying it by the height. You could have just used this part of the equation over here. You could have set everything on equal. Uh, you know, you know the image distance, you know the object distance. You also know the height of the object. You could have just straight away calculated the height of the image. Now it literally would have been the same calculation eventually what you did down here, but it might've been a little cleaner faster. Anyway, there's always many ways to kind of approach it. All right. Um, and I wrote 30 meters, you know, that's millimeters. So yeah, guys, thanks for tuning in. I hope this helps. All right. And uh, check out some more of our videos. All right. If you're taking pre-calculus or chemistry, if you know anyone, right, we're solving a whole bunch of problems out there for you. So even if you're not using OpenStax books, um, you can download them anyway for free and you can find them very similar questions. Remember, they're all about the same, no matter what book you're using. So if you're having a specific problem, let's say on equilibriums or let's say you're talking about standard angles and stuff, find them in the OpenStax books and then you can locate our problems and then you'll basically have all of your problems solved. Take care.